So yeah, the iPhone 8s have been splitting open. Is it a problem? Yes and no, to be honest. Yes and no, because it's only been six isolated incidents at the moment, which six incidents is not not too bad. Because they're only isolated, it's a couple of incidents, every, every company can get a bad batch of products. So it isn't really something we should be ki well, kicking off about. The Note 7, that turned from a couple of isolated incidents into a massive thing that gone banned from airlines and had to do a global recall which cost Samsung, I think it cost Samsung an estimated $3.2 billion having to, well having to scrap the phone, Sam, but because of that Samsung put significant like the, which since then the Galaxy S8 and Note 8 have, but the iPhone 8 issue at the minute is not exploding, it's just simple and fucking the phone essentially. So at the minute Apple says they're investigating and there's people causing this to be happening. Because a woman in iPhone 8 just forked out all that money for an iPhone 8, went home, plugged it in to charge it up, and that much they had pushed the screen out of it. Which and then it, then then the battery just fucks the entire phone up. So I don't think we should be worrying about this at the minute unless it turns Japan, Taiwan, Greece, Canada and China. So them six incidents have happened in, in more and more of them. I don't think it's gonna be an isolated incident or a bad batch of product. It is be very, very bad. Cause look at this damage to Samsung's reputable is literally living off their name and the brand, I think, because from the glass back on it is essentially the same design as the iPhone 6. So that much innovations or much redesign, like Samsung redesigns their phones all the time. But Apple ain't seeming to do it it look more modern, like if you look at the Sam newer Samsung phones, they look modern. If you look at their processing wireless charging, which I'm glad Apple has implemented fast charging, wireless charging, and better screens in the iPhone 8. I will give it that. Not going to be all big, and then it, and then six have gone now. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to make a video on it. Just, but the same happened with the Note 7, and to surprisingly, the, we can see the similarities there, can't we? Seeing in that they're the same manufacturer, it's isolated instance, and otherwise, I think it will damage Apple's name. Apple, if iPhone started, it, if a lot of them started expanding. And if Apple had to ever recall the iPhone happen on a global scale like the Note 7 did, because the Note 7 was pretty bad when they, they weren't just expanding, they was literally really all this could be avoided with like Samsung would have had to recall the Note 7 and if the iPhone they say, yeah, but we got rid of replaceable batteries because we get waterproof and dust. But this might be a lot better than no, that to still keep replaceable batteries but make them waterproof and dust replaceable battery or waterproofing, I choose waterproofing straight away because it is a lot, I use that feature but then issues like with the Note 7, like if the Note 7 battery were defective people can just pop back and say but it's all, it's all it's good that way except when the batteries wear out and your battery but you'll get the waterproofing seal which then renders the whole waterproofing and non replaceable it, it's a lot more beneficial than having a replaceable battery in my opinion and I'd rather pull after this should implement like a safety check system like like Samsung has done like Samsung has done then this shouldn't happen because since Samsung implemented that safety check system it has not system mate this will be a, like a problem of the past but I hope you enjoyed this video thank you